Hey guys, Dean here. Good to see you. I missed you since the last one. Have you guys been through a traumatizing experience in trucking? Has it been an accident? Has it been, a, you know, a bullying? Has it been tickets and stuff just building up on you? Leave some comments below. Let us know what kind of traumatizing experiences you guys have had. You know, kind of to take us back to one of the previous videos. You know what? My, my heart, I'm telling you, it, it, you guys just warm me right to the entire soul. The response that I got from you guys over my, my uh, accident video was just overwhelming. You know what? I, I can't thank you guys enough for all the positive feedback on that. Uh, it was a tough one to do, but how do you overcome that kind of stuff? Exactly that, you know, by making that video, that's, that's one of the things that helps me get through it. The more I talk about my experiences and the things that have happened to me, that's how I, how I deal with it and how I cope with it. Hearing that some of you guys have been through something similar and you guys are doing okay. Some of you guys have been through the same experience and you're not doing as okay. You know, some of you guys have suffered injuries and stuff from it. And you know, I hope you got my comments. I, I can't comment to them all. I wish I could. If I didn't get to your comments, still God bless you. I really appreciate everything that you guys have, have done. Anyways, what are the other reasons, you know, like we talk about tickets and stuff. Is it tickets? Have they built up? You know, did I go out and I partied one night and, you know, now I've lost my license because of an impaired or was I racing my buddy and I got one of those speed racing tickets? Is it just too many demerit points that have added up over the years? What's our CVR looking like? Company's not touching me because of, you know, just too many infractions on my CVR. And is it the bullying thing, you know? Like, I mean, am I new into truck driving? You know, I just started doing this and now I got all these you know, maybe older school guys that are coming in and they're harassing me you know I'm never gonna be good enough or I don't belong in the truck maybe I should think about a different career all these different things can can have a play on how we go about our daily life in the industry while we're out there you know don't let those things beat you up if you are new to trucking if it's something that you've just got into you know you got these other guys that are giving you peer pressure from you know whether or not you're good enough to be doing what you're doing you know what in one ear out the other ear don't let it beat you up we all started at some point not anybody ever stepped into a truck with just all the knowledge in the world you know you get guys out there that think they're better than they are you get guys out there that are better than they think they are we're our, probably our own worst critic that that's out there my advice to you is just you take it slow don't rush it. Don't get into the industry and just try to be the best that there is automatically. Be the best that you can be, but you don't have to be the best person on the road. I think when you look at truck drivers as a whole or as a persona, you know, truck drivers kind of come off with this badass, take no shit kind of people, you know, the guys and girls that are running down the road. We got grease on our arms. We shouldn't, we shouldn't have any adversities. We, we just, we just roll, you know, but there's not, there's a lot of stuff that, that we deal with on a daily basis that you know is, is traumatizing and and it takes its toll on you and uh how do how do you overcome that kind of stuff you know like one of the biggest things i think that probably takes its toll on drivers on the road other than the the long hours the traffic over the last years you know the, the, the populations are growing everywhere the cities that you go through are just gridlocked cars could give two craps about the truck in front of it, you know, being cut off constantly and stuff like that. So, you know, how do you overcome with that? I think the best thing that I could recommend is obviously talking about it. You know, like I say, you know, that last video for me, it helped me a lot to be able to give that to you guys and, and hopefully help everybody else out there that's done something like that. But talking to other truck drivers, you know, use that CB, get on that CB, talk to somebody. If you're going through something, you know, maybe look around and see if there's a support group a chat room and stuff like that that you can deal with other people I think interaction and telling somebody that I am suffering a little bit you know I've got these things on my mind the mental health it's never talked about it in the trucking industry right like we talk about all the different problems that we come across we talk about fuel prices we talk about breakdowns we talk about you know the industry but we don't talk about the mental health of it and there is a big mental health aspect to truck driving it's uh, you spend a lot of time all by yourself some of the universities that we we go through on a daily basis that you know maybe you're not prepared for it or maybe it's the first time that it happens you know am I getting shit from a shipper receiver am I getting shit from my boss or from another driver or you know the way scales or is it uh, getting pulled over is it you know there's a lot of different aspects that hit us that we're not prepared for especially if you're new to the industry 
personally, a couple of the companies I work for, and don't get me wrong, these companies that I work for are off the hook. I, they've been wonderful companies. It's just how you deal with what's going on. You got to remember that, you know, the owners of the companies, the bosses, the dispatchers, they've also got a lot of pressure on them as well. You know, so it's the stuff that we, we don't see as the driver. They're catching shit. If we're catching shit, they're catching shit, right? Sometimes it comes across the wrong way. And what I usually tell most drivers that, that start up in a company, especially if I know that, that the boss there is maybe not the best at relaying his emotions when something happens, you know? So take it with a grain of salt. When you catch a little bit of shit, if you did something wrong, you know, if you, if you ding something up or you bang something up, and it, it's about owning up to it. I always try to own up to anything I've done. So if I've done something, I've put a ding somewhere, I own up to it right away. Because putting it off and trying to hide it, you can't see around here, but there's trucks and trailers and, and drivers and people everywhere in here. So when you dinged into something, you think that you looked around like this and nobody saw, okay, you know what? Nobody's going to know it was me. Trust me, somebody saw it. Or if you're at a shipping yard and, and you know, you, you did something wrong and that shipper says to you, oh, don't worry about it, you know, under the bridge, nobody, nobody has to know, it's cool. Trust me, he goes inside. When you pull out that gate, he goes up to his boss and he says, this wing nut over here backed into the thing over there you get back and my god it's blown out of proportion and why didn't you tell us and just own up to the stuff that you do and you're not going to go through as many of these adversities and it's not going to eat you alive each time something like that happens it, it adds a layer on and then you get another layer and before you know it you got all these layers on top of you they're all sitting on top of your shoulders it seems like the whole world now is crushing in on you and it doesn't matter what you do you're hitting every red light you're it just it's, it's like everything and that stuff builds up on you and then before you know it, you snap right and you've you've got this big emotional thing and you're sitting in your truck and you're crying or you're you know this i don't want to drive anymore like why am i bothering with this stuff don't let it build to that man like just take every obstacle one at a time and you're not going to have that mental health kind of thing that piles up on you that way and and again if it's happening talk to someone if, if your boss is coming off really hard on you talk to him just say hey you know what man can you talk to me a bit nicer or what am i doing that's so wrong what can i correct to make this better you know there, there's ways to deal with things and you know talk to a seasoned truck driver that's been around he's probably dealt with some of these issues before and he's going to be able to maybe point you in the right direction if you you are thinking about just saying screw it i have been through it all and i can't take this anymore and i gotta get out of this don't do it man don't do it hang in there there's a lot of support out there believe it or not like i mean this channel is amazing if you look at some of the comments and stuff there is so many people out there on these comments that you can talk to other truck drivers who have been through what you're going through and they all give you great pieces of advice shit happens at the end of the day man it, it, it's not personal it's it's trucking shit is going to happen when you're driving a truck when you're putting in 18 hours a day then you're doing you know thousands of miles shit's going to happen and uh, don't let that beat you up man leave your comments down below here if you got problems and stuff leave those comments down there let us read through them too because other people are going to reach out to you and give you pieces of advice that are going to help you along the way make sure that you leave comments you follow us you like us you love us hit that bell make sure that you let other people out there know about this channel that they should subscribe and follow everything that we do on here i love the heck out of you guys and once again i can't thank you enough for all the awesome comments that you guys left me about my accident that stuff helps me on a daily basis i think i'm doing all right at the end of the day you know like i feel like i'm doing pretty good in, in the industry still and it's a lot of thanks to you guys like i always say keep the shiny side up the rubber side down i can't wait to see you next time. Goodbye.